I'm Jody Weisel. I'm here to introduce the Edison Die Lifetime Achievement Award winner this year and give you a little preview of what's happening. Right now I'm just uh, cleaning my tombstone. There's no tr truth that you can be buried underneath this when you die, but because my choice is really to be cremated, put in a plastic bag, and left on Ruta Valentino's grave because then somebody's guaranteed to come by at least once a year. This is my plaque. Mitch Payton's plaque, Malcolm Smith plaques, Lars Larson's plaque, uh, Mark Blackwell's plaque, and then the next one up there, one, two, three, four, five, six, will be Troy Lees. Troy is a, a really great guy. He's been in the motorcycle business for years and years, built his clothing company into the, the giant that it is, and helped build the museum with Bud at Feldcamp and races here. Been injured seriously here, had wonderful races here, and so you're gonna enjoy learning more and more about Troy as the night goes on. So enjoy yourself, enjoy the races, and come by and look at my plaque. My name's Troy Lee. Um, we're in my office here in Corona, California. And um, I'm gonna tell you a little bit how I got started and what I'm doing today, still doing. And I'm still trying to get started. <laughs> there was a flat tracker named Troy Lee and he won at Ascot and won the um, AMA title in 19, I was born in 61 in January. So this, I think my mom said in 1960, he won the championship and I was in my mom's belly. And my dad named me really after that, that said, oh, Troy Lee, that's a, that has a cool ring to it. Let's name him after the guy that won the race tonight. So that's what I was named after an old flat tracker. Um, and I got to meet him. He passed away probably 10 years ago, but he lived up in Ascot and, um, and raced flat track. So pretty cool story. My mom was really supportive of it. My dad was like, man, you're never going to be anything, dude. You know, get your shit together. What do you think? You're really going to make money painting helmets, you know? But my mom was really open. She helped, you know, buy my first compressor, split it with me, you know. Um, she said, you know, always said, follow your passion. It was my passion. I love painting. And, you know, she knew how much I drew when I was a kid. And, and I was super proud, you know, to paint helmets for, you know, top athletes around the world. Um, and um, I ne didn't get to make it to the level in racing that I wanted. Um, so it was a way for me to kind of work with the great, you know, some of the greatest racers in the world. But I uh, start, really started painting race cars when I was, for Jim Busby, when I was about 14 years old. 13, 14, 15, kind of. Um, and I started painting, painting a helmet, new helmet for Jim Busby right now, you know, 40 years later. But he gave me my start. I started doing car helmets and then I started racing my motorcycle at Saddleback and coming back and doing the race cars and then doing a couple of his friends' helmets. And then I started, took it from there, doing my friends in racing, Jeff Ward, Danny Magoo, Goat Brecker, Ron Lachine, Ricky Johnson, David Bailey. Um, I was racing with them on Saddleback. I'd go and race and I'd, then I'd you know, deliver some helmets and pick up some helmets and kind of trying to make 500 bucks a week racing and painting helmets. And um, doing the same thing, just doing a little more helmets and going to, more races around the world, and now we're making gear and, and helmets, and um, you know a lot of mountain bike. Half our business is bicycle, and half of it's motorcycles. And uh, but still doing a lot of car stuff. You know, working with like Scott Dixon and um, Andretti's and Jimmy Vassar and Juan Pablo and uh, Casey Kane, and just um, keep trying to work with new athletes around the world here, and keep trying to make cool stuff. Doing some bunch of new cool work with Ford, and. Um, 
doing some cool stuff with Polaris, doing some cool stuff with Oakley. Been working with PPG on paint, different colors and paints. And and uh, and we have a race team now too, which is cool. Been running that for, I think about 14 years. Started in Supermoto, racing with Jeff Ford and Jeremy McGrath and Doug Henry and myself. And uh, now we've taken it to racing, you know, we started, then we started doing West Coast Supercross 250s only. And then got a little bit bigger and a little more sponsorship and starting to you know race all across the United States. Uh, we also have a team, Yamaha team that we support in Europe and quite a few European mountain bike athletes. And really now I'm part owners in some helmet companies too in Europe and doing painting and building more helmets in Europe. So haven't slowed down yet. <laughs> I mean, honestly, you name it, Troy's done it. Everything on two wheels, four wheels, to BMX, to skateboard, to snowboard, helped top athletes in all these different kinds of sports and it's it's pretty cool if you just kind of sit back and look at it all i'm a big motorsport fan so i watch all this stuff on tv and i still see to this day whether i'm watching nascar indycar f1 or like i said some of the other sports i'll see troy's helmets or other things that troy does and that's it's pretty cool that he's spread himself around through all these different sports at, at the top level <laughs> <laughs> troy's a big kid he just uh he just loves life uh, I remember the first first one I got for the team, he said, my life's made now, I, I can die. And I was like, dude, that's Troy saying that? Like, he's an absolute legend. So Troy is just a guy who loves life, super passionate about anything he does, and enjoys everything. Oh man, what's it like working with Troy Lee? The man is, he, he's incredible. Honestly, I'm a little bit speechless because Troy is just so much fun, down to earth, um, so creative. Um, I started working with Troy before I even came to the team. He designed one of my replica helmets when I was at Arai. It's probably my all time favorite helmet ever. So he's just so easy to talk to. Uh, I went in his office before I knew him, sat down, we designed a helmet in, in 20 minutes and it was the best helmet ever. But just throughout the whole, you know, my whole career with Troy, he's an um, absolute legend. Going mountain bike, mountain biking with him and his kids, like his friends, it's just always a really good vibe with Troy. So yeah, I only have good things to say about Troy. He's really fun. He's like a like a big kid at heart, and uh, I feel like I'm the same way. So we just have a good time together, and he's 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 a genius. Well, he's changed a lot since when I first knew him. When he was a kid, he was pretty wild. Now he's still wild, but he's no smarter about it. <laughs> he's a whack job, like. He's comedy in a ball. Across from where Troy Lee's building is now, there used to be a Marie Callender's restaurant when they first opened. They put down fresh sod. We wanted to steal it and make a lawn for uh, his sister and Bill Keep. In the middle of the night, we thought they'd wake up and have a lawn already. And uh, we shouldn't have done that probably, but we had a few drinks and it sounded funny. So we started rolling up the sod and putting it in my van and then Police came and off we went. Um, I think I met Troy when I had Anaheim Husky and I was probably like maybe 19. And we were, I think we were going to Corona Raceway and Troy had, Troy had a really cool Suzuki uh, that he painted all the plastic on and painted helmet and all that stuff. And just kind of became friends with him and he was just a really cool kid. Uh, he did, he did a, a super simple paint job and with a little bit of graphic on all of the the, it was Anaheim, Husqvarna, and Pro Circuit Husky. Um, and then uh, when we started racing and stuff like that, we wanted Troy involved because of design and paint. And the very first original, uh, like the Peak Race Team, uh, Peak Honda, Troy painted all those box vans. He painted our helmets. And back then we had to paint the gas tanks every week. Troy did all that. Um, been friends. I raced cars for a while, and Troy did me a couple of really cool helmets for when I raced cars. He's like, he's just a great, he's a very, very talented artist, is what he is. Growing up with him as a dad is, uh, again, it was another adventure. It was so fun. How you see him in real life uh, as an adult, that's how he was with his kids. He was always um, down to be outdoors, take us bike riding, was very present and in the moment. Mammoth motocross was always something we always did as a family and that was super fun to go fishing and go in the hot springs and um, spend some time outdoors. Since I was 15, I've worked here. I've worked probably in every department besides design. So, and now I'm his assistant. 
and do project management, so it's been fun. And I think, I think growing up, um, I always wanted to, I didn't want to work for the company because I just wanted to enjoy it. And I knew that was his, but it's, it's hard to stay away when it's part of your life. It, it's been an adventure for sure. It's probably made us a lot closer and there's always tons of different projects. Every day is different. Um, I think that's the most exciting part that we get to collab and spend a lot more time together. Growing up in uh, Bart of Chorley Designs and being surrounded by the racing community and industry is pretty awesome. Um, getting to see everything from mountain bike racers to IndyCar racers to Supermoto, Supercross, like just being surrounded by racing growing up is, is truly incredible. Uh, very thankful to, to have this wonderful life we get to live here and be a part of such a cool company and be able to work with such cool people and uh, it's truly inspiring. I mean, we, we're passionate racers at heart. Me and my pops grew up as, as racers and now we're working in the, in the industry for a wonderful company with great people. So. Uh, man, I just I, I couldn't tell you how much I appreciate it. It's it's truly a blessing, and um, it sure it sure makes waking up every day a, a lot easier, and and a big smile on my face knowing that I get to go and, and do something that I truly love. He's always making sure that he he puts in a hundred percent like every time he he does stuff and and keeps like doing it. Like he doesn't do one project at a time. He does multiple at a time. So I think it's super cool that he's he always keeps active in like everything he he does the artwork and then later he'll go for a mountain bike ride or we'll go surf or do do lots of stuff and he, he's always like 100 percent in whatever he's doing in the moment i talked bud into saying if we build it they'll come and we just needed a place to kind of you know glen helen is one of you know my favorite tracks one of the toughest tracks in the world for sure and bud's always been a good guy um and um, he believed that, you know, I said, hey, we should put a cool building up that we could put sign up in so we're not standing out in the rain. It's a great place for trophy presentation. He's, you know, been a fan of my museum here. Um, I said, if we get a cool place, we can hang in some cool stuff and do some cool things with it. So, um, Bud said, let's, I gave him some drawings, um, did some signs for it, and um, Bud made it happen. Uh, Troy was involved in the development of Glen Helen from the beginning, in my development back in 1985 and he's been an integral part of it every year since. And for that, Troy, um, I want to thank you and congratulations on this prestigious award. Well, no matter what, wherever I see uh, Troy, no matter where or how or what we're doing, he's always glad to see me and he's always happy to see me like that. And I'm, I really enjoy his friendship and my friendship with each other. But uh, he really deserves it. And we really worked hard to see that he gets it. Hi, honey. How awesome is it that you're being honored and awarded for doing what you love and have a passion for keeping people protected and safe and looking good while they're out doing what they love? Congratulations. I love you. I'm really proud of my dad to get the award. I think it's well deserved. He works so hard and he's still um, very hands on in everything that he does and that goes on here. And I think he was a big pioneer in the industry for art and motorsports. So um, when I got the news, I was I was really excited and really proud. I'm happy for him. I mean, he deserves it as much as anybody. He's done so much for the sport. And more than anything, he's a really good friend of mine. Um, we've known each other since we were really young. And this is what we both chose to do. So I'm proud of him and I'm happy for him. Well, Troy, uh, being a friend, that's pretty cool. Congratulations on the Edison Die Award. Um, you're among pretty good company and you definitely have put in the work to deserve this award. So again, congrats, my friend. I know that my friend Tom White, WUSA, and Bud Feldkamp of Glen Helen Raceway are proud to give this award to Troy Lee. Troy Lee started as a local racer who painted helmets in his garage at night. He used his artistic talents to build a giant clothing company and become a team manager, a team owner, and the, you know, one of the craziest guys you'd ever have to spend time with. Let's welcome Troy up here and hear it from the man himself. Mm -hmm.